Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my friends. Um, I'm Dieter, Dieter Van Schura, and I'm the owner and manager of the Artelino Company. And we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions, actually already since 2001. So I became rather old with that. Um, currently, we run an auction um, of Shinhanga prints. Shinhanga that is an art movement, uh, a Japanese art movement from the first half of the 20th century. And I will present you uh, six selected prints, all woodblock prints from this auction. But let me first tell you something uh, about the feedback that we got for our video from last week. Last week we had an auction about modern Japanese prints. Yeah? And usually with these so-called what we call the picks, um, our picks of the week. Of course, we select the, our stars, the, the best prints and therefore the most expensive prints. And there we got a comment, um, I think it was on YouTube, it was something like, well, nice, very nice, but $1,200 is too much for me. So um, I had an idea and thought, okay, for this Shinhanga auction, we'll make two videos, okay. One for our top stars, and another one, um, in the middle priced, a little bit lower priced section. So these six prints that I'm going to present now, none has a reserve. Reserve, that's the minimum bid you have to place above $500. Yeah, Some are even below $200. So very reasonable and very attractive prints. And I already mentioned all woodblock prints and the artists, um, or Eisho Narazaki, Toshi Yoshida, uh, Kozo Nohara, Shiro Kazamatsu, and last but not least, Shotei, two Mitsugiri prints by Shotei, also called Hiroaki Takahashi. Do you like fish? I don't mean eating a fish in a restaurant but fish swimming in a pond or in an aquarium. It has something soothing for the soul, yeah. And there are, you won't believe it maybe, um, quite a few collectors who are specialized in fish prints, in Japanese fish prints. And well, the first uh, print uh, that I want to present is a fish print. It's by Eisho Narazaki. Yeah, you see it in the background. And let me now show it to you also in real, so that you get a feeling for the, for the size. Okay, got it? Eisho Narazaki is among those artists, those Shinhanga artists, which are not so well known. And this one is, this one is really very rare. We never had it during the 20 years of our existence as online auctioneers on the internet since 2001. It was published somewhere in the 1920s. By the way, in our descriptions, you always find the word dated. And dated, that's a kind of a standard um, in, in auction catalogs. Um, and it does not mean the date when it was actually printed. For Japanese prints, no one usually knows Dated in 99% of all cases means when it was first published. Oh, okay, well, just this just as a sideline. There is a woodblock print, like all the six um, prints that I selected for you today, and it's in flawless condition. And the reserve, meaning the minimum bid, is only $180. Our print number two is by Toshi Yoshida, son of Hiroshi Yoshida, both famous Shinhanga artists. Toshi Yoshida was born in 1911 and he died in 1994. So he belongs to the late period of um, the so-called Shinhanga art movement. The title of this print is Autumn in Hakone Museum. I'm not uh, a national English speaker, and if you're an American or a Brit, you might now interfere and say, wait a moment, Dieter, Autumn in Hakone Museum? Can it be? Shouldn't it be at Hakone Museum? Well, my answer is, um, this is the title. 
in the Harkonnen Museum as you find it here on the bottom of the sprint. And there you see also the signature. And my friends, this is a stamped signature because this is a posthumous printing. It was printed after the death of Toshi Yoshida in 1995. Um, let me show it to you so that you get an impression for the real size. Got it? Um, and I have to tell you, it's in absolutely flawless condition. Um, doesn't have any, any issues at all. And um, yeah, it was first published in 1954. And this one, a posthumous printing. And the reserve, last but not least, only $240, my friends. Our selected print number three is by Kozon O'Hara. Kozon O'Hara is the master of Kachoe. Uh, what is Kachoe? Japanese prints, sometimes also used as Kachoga. A stands for image and Ga uh, also for image. And Kacho, that's a genre within Japanese prints and that stands for uh, flowers and birds. Well, this is not, doesn't show a flower nor a, a bird, but a deer. And the title is Deer Under the Moon. Kachoe can also be a little bit more, so let's say, nature um, prints. It was published first uh, around 1910, and this odd square format that's called Chikishiban, needn't remember it. The publisher is Dai Kokuya, oh my god, yeah. And it's pretty rare, and do you know why? Look at the moon, yeah. Um, those who watch our auctions uh, every week, they may remember we had the same design a few weeks ago, however, without the moon, yeah. And the fact that this shows the moon, this is the rare original edition by the publisher Dai Kokuya, and the later edition lacks the moon. Uh, you may now ask yourself, um, how, how do you know that? Quite simple. My Japanese wife Yori told me so, my friends. Okay, and yeah, something last. Um, the reserve, US dollar 380 only for this rare print. Our print number four is by Shiro Kazamatsu. Shiro Kazamatsu was born in 1898 and he died in 1991, so he became rather old. And well, this print uh, shows the red gate at Hongo in snow. It stands um, today at the entrance of the Tokyo University compound. And it was first published in 1935 Publisher is Watanabe, Watanabe Shotsaburo. Well, when you're familiar with Shinaga, you know this name. Well, he was the great, not only the great publisher, but the great mentor, some say even the inventor of this Shinhanga art movement. And he was the first publisher for whom Shiro Kazamatsu worked. Shiro Kazamatsu had changed his publishers um, several times. Probably couldn't stand it with Watanabe any longer. Watanabe was a rather strict man who had his very own ideas what a print should look like. And um, the artists most probably didn't have much freedom when they worked, artistic freedom I mean, when they worked with him. Um, anyway, uh, let me show it to you. And I can assure you a few things. First of all, this is absolutely flawless, um, but it's a later printing. It's a posthumous printing, most probably after 2000. And um, well, experienced collectors among you may know this design. It's actually famous. We had it, I wouldn't say quite often, but several times during the past years of our, our auctions. And very often we had early editions uh, and these are very, very uh, expensive. However, the early editions, they have um, 
not only the disadvantage of the very high price, but usually the red is somewhat faded. And this one, uh, the red is, is perfect. Um, no fading um, at all. Um, that's advantage number one. Advantage number two, the reserve, of course. It's much, much cheaper than an addition from before World War II. The reserve for this price is only $240, my friends. The last two prints uh, that I'm presenting today um, are both by Shotei. Um, Shotei with full name, Hiroaki Takahashi, but collectors usually um, just call him Shotei. He was uh, born in 1871 and died in 1945. So let me show the first um, design, the first print, and that has the title Water God at Katsushika. And the second one, uh, let's switch our monitor image. You see, beautiful, huh? Uh, that may have a title, something with the moon, yeah? And it does, yeah? Moon Rising at Nokitsaki. Both were published in the 1930s, and both have this um, tall and skinny format, so quite the opposite of my shape. And, well, this unusual format is called in Japanese Mitsugiri, Mitsugiri Ban. Both pro uh, prints have no condition problem whatsoever and both have a wonderful provenance, the best provenance you could imagine. They come from the uh, estate of Robert O. Muller. Robert O. Muller, the famous dealer and collector who deceased in 2003. Experienced collectors of Shinanga know this name. Well, for those who, who don't know him, uh, a few words. Um, Robert O. Muller um, was an art dealer and, and a collector. And when he died, he had left to the world a huge amount of the largest collection the largest but also the finest collection of Shinhanga that the world had ever seen. Yeah? And after his death, 2,000 from this collection that he left were bequeathed to a museum. It was the Sackler Gallery in Washington and the rest and the rest was 10,000s of prints. Yeah? Um, came into the market and um, Artelino has been so lucky that we have been able to offer them since 2003. And my friends, now, well, this large number that was available for the market, it now comes to, the, to an end. I cannot tell you for how long I can offer them anymore. It may be for a few months, it may be maybe for more, one more year, I don't know, but I can tell you now the number of designs and also the number in quality is very reduced. But they are wonderful prints. It's not the leftovers. No, they are wonderful, perfect prints. So take your chances. Uh, and something else I, I want to explain to you. Well, uh, nearly all of these prints that come from the Robert O. Muller collection, they have a small little stamp on Verso. I couldn't show it to you, but it's so small you couldn't recognize it to you. But I shall now show it here from, from our encyclopedia or on our website, ortolino.com. Uh, and this stamp says, made in Japan. It's usually um, on, on bottom. It comes in different formats, but it's usually small. It may sometimes be in red. And we once had a client who said, oh, who bought such a print and then complained and said, hey, I found a stamp on, on the backside made in Japan. I thought I had bought something valuable. This is a cheap stuff, yeah? This is like 30 years ago made in Hong Kong or made in Bangladesh or, or whatever. Nonsense, my friends. It's quite the opposite. Well. This stamp is a very, very positive indicator. What does it say? It means this stamp was used between 1921 and 1941, and it was mandatory by US import laws then. That was a measure against Japan. And you must know that 
most of the Shinhanga prints, they were exported to the US. So when a print has the stamp, this means it was printed before World War II and therefore is much more valuable than uh, a print um, pulled recently. Okay, so much. Oh, I forgot the reserve. Uh, the reserve of each print is only US dollar 300. So really, okay, take your chances. Don't let them go, my friends. Well, my friends, this was it. Well, I showed you six wonderful Shinhanga prints from our current auction. And today is January 27 of 2021. And this auction will end coming Sunday, uh, January 31st at 8 p.m. Central European time. Yes, we are located in Germany, in Bavaria, southern part of Germany, where it's more beautiful than in the north. Mm, shouldn't have said that. We have a few clients in the north. Mm. Okay, and we are here in a rural area um, of Bavaria near the Alps. And um, yeah, for you guys in the US, important, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, on Sunday, we are six hours ahead of you guys on the U.S. East Coast and nine hours ahead of U.S. West Coast. Hello, California. Um, until then, um, please take care and have a good time. And don't forget to bid in our auctions. And if you like our videos, we usually publish them every week, sometimes even more than just one. So take a look at uh, YouTube or take a look at our website artelino.com. I would be pleased to see you again as our visitor or bidder in our auction. Thanks and goodbye.